Hi guys, um, giving an update here on my Gianni Granite countertop paint. Um, I applied the countertop paint in my kitchen here in July of 2015. And today is November 22nd, 2017. So it's been almost two and a half years since I initially did it. Um, I do kind of have a decent amount of countertop space as you can see. So I only needed um, one large kit to do my entire kitchen. I think that cost me $90 with shipping and tax and all that. So 90 bucks for a full brand new countertop. Um, not bad. However, the countertop paint has held up okay. I would give it a rating of maybe like a B. Not a B plus, not an A. Um, <clears throat> not a C. It's not terrible. I would still recommend it, but um, there have been some areas um, that definitely have been nicked and the paint has chipped off. Um, I'll show you some specific spots in just a little bit here, but um, one thing to note is that I do have two small children. Um, so at first, after we applied the countertop paint, I did try to be careful. Um, and I was very kind of cautious at first, at least to give it time, like a couple months to cure and really stick to the counters. But after that, all bets were off. And I was not gentle, I was not careful. I just needed to get stuff done, cook some meals. So I just treated it like a regular countertop. So some of the wear and tear is fair game. Um, so especially around the sink area, I'll show you guys. The, that has shown the most wear and tear, mostly because that's the area that gets the most activity, understandable, but it's come off quite a bit. Um, some other places are just kind of random spots where um, my, for example, like my fingernail would catch the countertop. I would go to grab something off the counter and just hit it just wrong to where my fingernail would cause some of the paint to come up, which is kind of lame, but not all the time that would happen, but sometimes it would, and it was just kind of a bummer. Um, I do have the square edges. I don't have round edges, so I knew that going into it that the edges would wear off first and the quickest. So again, still kind of fair game. I knew that going into it, but I'll take you around and I'll show you, okay? Okay, so here is the sink area. I know it's kind of dark here, but um, you can see just how much has chipped off. Quite a bit. <laughs> I probably could have done touch-ups by now, but I just haven't. I haven't had time to let it dry and all of that, so there it sits. But obviously you can see the countertop below the paint very, very strongly coming through. Here's some areas where I had described like my fingernail catching and chipping the paint. Um, they're not big. You can see scale to my hand. Small little areas and they do kind of blend in so it's not the worst but kind of a bummer. Here's a few more. I wanted to show you this area too. This is the area of the kitchen that gets a lot of activity as well. This countertop. Um, you can see scratches and things like that. Um, like I said, I'm not careful with these countertops anymore. I, I gotta get stuff done with these, with these kids and cook some meals, but I certainly don't chop directly on the countertops with a knife. I don't know how these scratches happen, but you know, life. But they, they do kind of show when the light hits them right. Here's some more of the edges where the paint has come off. Like I said, I figured that this would happen considering I don't have rounded edged countertops. Okay, so overall, would I recommend Gianni Granite countertop paint? 
yeah, I still would. Um, for 90 bucks to have brand new countertops um, from what I had for my um, all my countertop space, which I kind of think is a lot, um, is a pretty good deal compared to what it would probably cost to actually replace the countertops, um, even with not marble or not granite or whatever it may be, just normal basic laminate countertops. Pro that would probably be a couple hundred dollars. So 90 bucks, that's a deal. I still would recommend it. Um, like I said, I give it a rating of a B out of, uh, you know, A, B, C, D. But um, those are my countertops after about two and a half years. I'm thinking I might replace, I might redo the color again. I think I'm wanting like a white countertop. We'll see. Um, I'll definitely make a video if I go over this paint with new paint. Um, see how that holds up. Um, and I'll keep everyone updated. Okay, thanks. Bye.